And Biden should do it immediately. He should close the border immediately. He needs no legislation. He doesn't need this gentleman. He doesn't need anybody. He can do it. I did it without any legislation. I had the best border we've had in ever recorded history. He can close it immediately. If he would have left, we, we had stay in Mexico, remain in Mexico. We had catch and release in Mexico, not here. We had everything. It was perfect. It was a great, a great situation we had, and now we have the worst ever. I don't believe in the history of the world there's been a border like this, but we probably have 15 million people, and they come from places that you don't want to know about, and they're going to be big problems, and it's getting worse. It's migrant crime. It's a new category of crime, migrant crime. And I'm just demanding, I just demand, as a citizen, I demand the border has to be closed. Our country cannot take it. No country could take it. It's not sustainable by any country. And uh, we want to also mention election interference, and we want to talk about election integrity for a little while. But basically, that's what we're working on. And uh, I'll introduce the speaker, who you know very well. He's doing a, a really good job under very... Shalom. I want to give all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachakudash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom this world ignorantly calls God, the Holy One of Israel, and the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, whom this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do rule well, and peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, those men that are doing His work in sincerity and in truth across the four corners of the earth presenting their bodies as a living sacrifice and much love to the one third of you believers out there. I'm your fellow lowly servant, Yeshia, and I pray, Lord willing, that this lesson is edifying through the spirit. All right. Um, so this is not going to be too long. This is an in transit I'm doing. Uh, you know, I had something I was brewing up yesterday and it didn't really go the way that I like. You know, sometimes it'd be like that in the spirit. Um, but uh, I wanted to get this out the way. Uh, you know, well, not out the way. I wanted to, something was on my spirit to discuss. And uh, I was somewhere earlier and I was watching a news station was on and uh, it was talking about Donald Trump. And he said, I want to close the border. I demand, he said, I demand that we close the border. All right. And so this is the ex president and possible future president of the United States. Um, and mind you, you know, at first I was like, man, it's like kind of weird to think that he will be reelected. But I mentioned before, there's another president that this happened to before. And I can't remember the guy's name. Um, let me actually, let me look that up real quick. President. Right, it was Glo Grover Cleveland, right? Uh, that should be easy to remember. But it says, uh, the first Democrat elected after the Civil War in 1885, our 22nd and 24th President Grover Cleveland was the only president to leave the White House, White House and return for a second term four years later. So ultimately, that's what Donald Trump is trying to do, the same thing that Grover Cleveland did. He was the president, then another president comes in, and he's the president after that. And that's what Donald Trump's goal is, right? But he says, I demand that we close the border. Now, Donald, 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 <laughs> uh, you got to understand this, sir. <laughs> uh, There's no way you can close the border, right? There's no way for you to shut down what is really taking place. You can try, you can make uh, uh, all of these big proclamations. You can have your goal set in mind. But at the end of the day, this country is going to be invaded. First of all, it has no true border. Let's be real, right? They have outposts and they have small sections of a border, but there's not a great wall of America, okay? These nations are going to come in to America no matter what you say or do. And trust me, it sounds good. And that's what that's what politics is, man. Right? They 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 by policy, right? They deceive many. Okay. So uh this is Ezekiel 38 and verse 10. It says, Thus said the Lord power, it shall also come to pass 
that at the same time shall things come into thy mind, and thou shalt think an evil thought, and thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of unwalled villages. Right? It says, I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. Now, this is applicable to a time before Babylon, but hey, man, this applies to this, this land today. All right? That applies to this land today, man. All right? America is truly the land of unwalled villages. And the people have to understand that, right? Because there is not a a, a safe haven. It's a lock here. I'm trying to look up something. There's not a, a, a America. It says them that that are at, at rest that dwell safely. Okay. Right, and so uh, Americans, Americans are careless. Americans are at complete rest here, man. All right, they are. They aren't thinking. Half the people don't even know about the border. They aren't thinking about the border. They aren't thinking about immigrants. Right, even though they're getting warnings online, they're getting warnings about the things to come. They're getting warnings that immigrants are coming in and migrants are. Uh, 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 What's the what's the what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, what's the thing called when I'm saying like to be like I'm on a live? Uh, squatters. That's it. The people are immigrants and migrants are squatting in their houses. You know, even though a lot of that are agent provocateurs that are saying that, but you got people coming in from all different nations, and then they a lot of these men they're saying army aged uh, uh, men. You see, these aren't you know twelve year olds. These aren't. 50 year olds these are men between the ages of 18 and 30 that are coming in man All right so it says i will go and you shall think an evil thought and is that a is invasion not an evil thought let me go ahead and get the definition for invasion and so like if i'm covering the mic jake had to take my case off um and i i misplaced it i think it's at the brother's house but i gotta get another one but it says uh invasion an instance of invading or a country or region with an armed force, an incursion by a large number of people or things into a place or a sphere of acti activity, an unwelcome intrusion into another's domain. And that's exactly what this is. This is an unwelcome intrusion into the domain of America, right? People don't know who wants to be invaded, right? What, what nation of people wants to be invaded? What country wants to be invaded? Right. But America so destroyed. America will pull a 9-11 and invade itself and put the the fear, the fear upon people, you know. But the time of these invasions ain't nothing Donald Trump, your, your great orange prince, ain't nothing he can do to save y'all people. Right. There's nothing that he can do, man. Let me see. Okay. This is a uh, nope. That's not the verse I'm looking for. This is a uh, Jeremiah 51 and 14, and this has been coming out a lot. It says, "The Lord of hosts has sworn by Himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee." So this is a prophecy that Donald Trump doesn't understand. This is a prophecy about the invasion of America. Right. If you understand that Jeremiah 51 is speaking about a new Babylon, a future Babylon, the the the, the uh, current Babylon, the, the daughter of Babylon, that's what he's referring to, which is America. All right. Surely. Right. When the Lord says surely or verily, that means a fact. Right. When you go into the word ver, veritas, it means true, ver, verily, true or to verify. Right. To make it true. All right. So it's the surely. To be sure, I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars. And, you know, I recently did the little clip. When caterpillars come, they will devour everything, man. They, if you put a leaf, try putting uh, two caterpillars on a leaf. They're going to eat that whole thing. Maybe they might leave the little stem in the middle of the leaf. But everything else is going to be gone, man. 
And the Lord says, surely he's going to fill you with caterpillars. And when you look at that in the NLT, it goes along the lines of saying he's going to invade. He's going to invade this place. It's going to be an invasion upon the American shores, man. Okay. It says, uh, he hath made the earth by his power and he hath established the world by his wisdom and has stretched out the heaven by his understanding. So through the Lord, we understand these things, but you think Donald Trump is considering Yahweh Bashim al Shai? You think, uh, uh, the American citizen, your average American citizen is considering that an invasion upon America, the old blessed American soil is a, uh, uh, something going on down here is uh uh they they don't think that the, that's the most high's will you know that's not their mentality right their mentality is that this place is gonna go on forever that everything is all good that is no big deal that america ain't gonna never be touched right and that's what a uh, revelation 18 goes into let me get that you know, everybody think that America is the land of the untouchable. Oh, we got the greatest army in the world. The Edomites live here, a land that was stolen. Okay. Uh, Revelation 18 and uh, 7. Yep. It says, uh, it says, uh, how much has she glorified herself and lived deliciously? So much torment and sorrow give her, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am a widow and shall see no sorrow. So that's the mentality of Babylon America, man. All right. That's the mentality of Babylon America is that it's not going to see any torment, that it's not going to see any sorrow, that nothing terrible is going to happen to this place. But I guarantee it's going to be the worst thing, according to. Jeremiah 30 and 6 through 7 and Revelation 12 and 1 it's going to be the worst thing that's ever happened to a nation before and it's going to come upon all four corners of the earth man but you got to understand this is the will of God man this is the will of who you ignorantly call God and who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ whom the people in this nation claim to say they know and love and appreciate and respect you know, they'll say, God bless America. Well, you under, you, if you understood that the most high God, Yahweh, he is going to destroy America till there's nothing left. So that that reason alone lets you know that people understand don't understand the Heavenly Father at all. The same place that you want him to bless, he's going to curse perpetually. People do not understand Yahweh Bashim al Shai. People don't know his name. People don't fear him. So the Lord is about to send these... Uh, these invaders man so hey donald trump ain't nothing you can do to try to block an invasion ain't nothing you can do to stop these people from coming in and and destroying this place and tearing it down man all right the only thing you could do is 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 hope for a, a decent slavery you you edomites you so-called white people right and i a decent slavery meaning you found you you in the slave plantation of the most easy going brother in the nation of Israel, which you got to understand, it ain't going to be no easy going brothers because the scriptures say that he's going to put his indignation in our hearts. So we're going to have God's, then we're going to have the most highest anger in us. So because if it was up to us, we would just, we wouldn't go as hard as we, we should. We would just be like, all right, that's enough beating his ass, but we got to have the most highest anger in us to be able to uh, give you the, the, the judgment that you so deserve, man. You know, so I told you it's going to be quick. I just wanted to uh, get that point across. Ain't no closing the border. They don't even have a border, man. Them, them, we already, uh, America's already swamped with sleeper cells, with men that are ready to come down and destroy this place, man. But, hey, I pray, Lord willing, that this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Ahakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the elect.